Professor Dornak. As you can see in reference of volume, Dornak, Dornak, Dornak! Uh, uh, no, I'm listening. Dornak, did you fall asleep again? Dornak? What, uh, Dornak? Oh, how? As you can see, if you reference volume 73 of the Professional Responsibility how, how, Library. Why are we doing this again? Why? Oh, I, I apologize, Professor Dornak. I was unaware that you are independently wealthy and can therefore provide all monies needed for your experimentation. I don't have any of that. Oh, well I? then, if you will continue with me, uh, just grab volume. So we have to seven. go through all this administrative paperwork just so I can continue to get funding from the university. That is correct, Professor oh. Dornack. As I was saying, if you reference volume 73 of your professional responsibility, Dornack, Dornack, Dornack! Uh, uh, yes, if yes. you will continue, you will take note in regulation 426 dash 606 subsection Q in order to perform Q? any yes Q in order to perform any or all oxidated Q. gaseous experiments subsection 327 states that you must fill out a I'm really tired of this how I just need uh, how uh, how? Uh, there's someone at the door. I'm door going to have to let you You must know. complete these forms before... I'm listening to door everything you have to say. Door Send door me an email. Door yes. you don't check your email. Right. Right. There we go. Uh, I got I got it, Eugene. I'll get the door. I'll get the door. Ah, yes! Please, come right in. Come right in. I'm always glad to... I'm telling uh, you... This is the last straw. Please. All right, I I was I was minding my own business, and your creatures bit me. My creature? Yes, your creature. I assure you, sir. My creature. You mean mutagen? I mean no, he, he no. I, I, I do not mean. Potentially. <laughs> I do not mean that green monstrosity of straw. I don't mean the green one. Okay. What does it look like? What did well, it? It's uh. It was. It was hairy. And, hairy. and, and it had the teeth. That's a lot of people yeah. around here. And, and uh, uh, it was a. Uh, it was this tall. And how tall uh, was it? It was this tall. This tall. Yeah, this tall. Okay. And I got and, you. and and it it, it howled. Well, what did it sound like? Make the sound. Uh. Oh, uh, it, 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 uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> like that. Like yes. that. And hey, it bit me, and I want you to know that I'm going to call the police. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to call the police. Let's not call the authorities. Authority? No, no, I can't get in trouble well, with the, the authorities. The police are the right authorities. My probation or I office. I understand. Is, no, is, is this is this mute is this moonshine? Do you have moonshine in that? Yeah, you, you want some? No, no, no. The fumes in here are doing just fine. I'll tell you what. Let's not call the authorities. Is but a meth lab? Uh well not today. <laughs> let's uh, let's I'll take care of this uh, creature that attacked you and uh, uh, I'll tell you what, once you see yourself out and I'll take care of everything, huh? I, I really do appreciate concerned All citizens right. like you. But I'm telling you, if that thing bites me like five or more times five or six more times? Four. I I am going to I am I, I where am I? Uh, is, is this a meth lab? Uh, no, sir. No, 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 not a mute, not a meth lab. Please, this is my laboratory where I, uh, where I, uh, where I invent things. I think I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna go. I'll tell you what. No, 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 no. I, uh, that, way, that way. That way. That way. No, this isn't your house. Thank I do. You. Uh, <laughs> moron. Uh, that's one of our local concerned citizens, and he's making me aware of a very valid concern. You see, there are creatures out in the woods everywhere, and it's my job to make sure that uh, we take care of creatures like that, and I know exactly what to do. Mutagen, Mutagen, please, I need you to get together some traps, 
put them all around in the woods outside the laboratory. You got that, Munich? Uh, uh, all right, uh, good, 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 good. Perfect, perfect. Now, uh, Munigen, is that a cat? Uh, Munigen, you leave the Wickersons' cat alone! This is the second one! You stop it! I... <laughs> uh, uh, we're going to uh, have a little bit of break while uh, we put out some traps out in the woods. Uh, we think that we've got ourselves a werewolf. <laughs> Isn't that perfect? Oh, I've longed to get a hold of a werewolf so I can test some theories. <laughs> now, I don't want you to go away while uh, we set traps, so I do have some entertainment for you. A wonderful movie called The Horrors of Spider Island. <laughs> I think it's going to be a very interesting film, so please, sit back. Relax, but don't uh, fall asleep. <laughs> I've got big things to show you. Unigen, <laughs> Unigen, leave that cat alone. The Wickersham's got bubbles just this summer. in the south of Malaya. Population approximately 550,000. University, shipbuilding, important seaport. Doesn't it say anything about the 32 nightclubs there? Have you already worked down in Singapore? Not to work. However, I once had a friend, an oil sheik. He took me with him down there. He was quite a guy. Those are the guys that run around in turbans, aren't they? <laughs> Listen, honey, when they take those turbans off, they're just like any other man. Got a light? Uh. Looking forward to going to Singapore? Mm, I don't really care where I dance, as long as the pay's good. <laughs> Georgia, you're looking prettier every day. How in the world are you doing? Mike? Yeah? Have you told the girls what this is all about? Sure, Gary. A tour for a dancing troupe. First engagement, Singapore. I have 12 of them here to pick from. Okay, Georgia. Let the girls in. We don't have much time. All right, if we start now, Mr. Blackwood. Of course. Oh, but one at a time, please. Okay. May? 
smile, will you? How do you do? That's Mr. Webster, the manager. And uh, this is May. She's the finest dancer in town. What was your last engagement? With the Coquettes, one year. Uh, one of the finest. Hmm, legs? Pardon me? Mr. Webster would like to look at your legs. Oh, sure. Thank you, you're hired. Please wait outside. Oh, thank you. Hmm, May, Coquettes. And this is Rhonda Hunter. Dancer? Not really. But I picked things up real fast. Hmm. Thank you. We're looking for dancers. But what's that got to do with Singapore? Come on, come on, honey. Don't hold us up. Babs? This is Babs. Her legs are worth their weight in gold. Can those golden legs also dance? I was solo dancer in the Apollo Varieties. And why did you leave there? Oh, the boss really went for her, but his wife thought otherwise. All right, you can work with us, as long as you don't have any affairs. Mr. Webster doesn't tolerate any fooling around. I had all the boys I can take. Come on. Carolyn. This little one's from the National Ballet. Could you dance a little bit for us? Glad to. Would you put this one on for me? Sure. Let's have a look. wonderfully. But I'm afraid ballet is not what we're looking for. Don't be sad, honey. I tell you what, uh, come in again tomorrow. Yeah? Yeah, I've got something else for you. Oh, thanks. All right. Thanks. Here are Gladys and Doreen. I told you to let them in separately. These babes have been working from the start as a duo number. And we would very much like to stay together, if possible. On this tour, you'll be dancing with other girls. That doesn't matter, as long as we get to go overseas. All right, you can both work with us. Please send the next one in. Yeah. Thank you. See you. Linda. Hello there. Hmm, you're a stripper? At times. Didn't I see you work the Sapphire Club last month? How observant of you. How come you quit that place? The boss wanted to. I didn't. Oh, are you always so picky unish? That depends on the boss. Boss, shall I dance for you? It's not necessary. You're hired. Wait outside. Okay. Next girl, please. My name is Nellie Hastings. A new one. I haven't seen her work yet, but she's always been with good troops. Let's see her dance. Wait outside. So, Mr. Blackwood has supplied all the girls we need. Fine, Georgia. 
Uh, go and tell the girls when costume and dance rehearsals will start. Will you please? Okay. All right. Listen, Gary, I thought you were the boss. But you let Georgia select all the girls. I select all the girls. You? But you didn't say a word. Why should I? I have a little trick. When I keep my legs apart like so, it means I'm not interested. When I cross them like this, ah, then it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you always were a crazy guy. When do things get underway? Oh, ten days. Ten days? Well then, have a good trip. Thank you. over the Pacific Ocean near Honolulu. Altitude is 15,000 feet. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Clipper 247, Clipper 247. We are 9,000 feet, losing altitude. Number two engine burning. Prop feathered, attempting emergency landing. Present position, it's... Repeat your position. Repeat your position. Damn, I can't pick him up anymore. Clipper 247. No, Mr. Hastings, I can only repeat. There's absolutely no reason yet to fear the worst. Until now, we only know that the plane caught fire and that we've lost radio contact. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know immediately, as soon as I hear something new. Blackwood Agency. No, Mr. Alberts, I don't have any further information. But of course there's a search party out there. I tell you, rescuers are looking all over for them. There's still hope, even after four days. Yes? I'll call you as soon as I hear something new. Stop that falling. You're driving us all nuts. Water. Just one swallow. No more today. Tomorrow you'll get another ration. Gary? Give me some water. Huh. Who do you think you are? But this night, we can't hold out much longer. You're starting that too, Georgia? A ship has to go by here sometime, or we've got to at least see some land. Water. 
please give me water. Look, a bird! Oh, oh, thanks. Where there are birds, there must be land. Are you crazy? Give that to me. <coughs> Look at there, Gary. Over there. Land. There's land. Help me paddle. We've got to make it. Paddle with your hands. Come on, Come on. Come on. <laughs> Don't stop now. We'll make it. It's not far now. Then we'll be safe. There you are, Georgia. Lie down. Yeah. I can't go anymore. Here. Georgia, darling. Oh, oh Gary. Oh, 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 oh,
Keep going. Ouch, my shoe. This way is not that good for shoes. Gary, look what I just found. A hammer. There must be someone on this island. Really? A hammer with a long handle. It must be for the purpose of excavating some sort of metal. Most probably, uranium. Can you eat that? <laughs> yeah, you can try it. Come on, let's go and find out. <laughs> oh, come on, oh, come on. Oh, be nice enough. Oh, fine. Long boots for <laughs> Come on, hurry up, look. Come here. Look, a cabin. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Coming after you. Mutagenation. Coming after you. 
imagination! Ah, thank you. I'm so glad that you're back. Uh, now, yesterday we had a little bit of trouble in the woods. We didn't really have a whole lot of luck capturing any werewolves. <laughs> now, let me just explain what, why I want to capture a werewolf. I mean, besides the general danger to the community, I have a lot of experiments in mind that would be great for a good lycanthrope. But, uh, but uh, last night we didn't have a whole lot of luck. So hopefully today I sent Munichin out to go look in the trap. So we'll see what happens. Ah! Oh, come on in, Munichin. Come right in. Oh, oh. Munigen, I, I told you to get the, the tra traps, the werewolf traps, not, not these. Go on, Munigen, go get the werewolf traps. Uh, I'm so sorry, sir. You're responsible for this, and what is that? That, that's my assistant, Munigen. Uh, I mean, he was just uh, going to check the traps, and I'm sorry. Oh, you're ready to, yeah, he, yeah, 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 okay. But, I mean, uh, I'm so it's sorry. Fine. Well, yes, but but see, oh, we we're trying to capture a werewolf. I mean, surely you understand. I mean, surely, have you ever been attacked by like a large creature? Uh, I had this girlfriend once. Uh, I... let's let's not talk about that right now. Okay. Uh, but but I mean, do you even remember what happened last night? How'd you get in these traps? Well, I don't remember last night. But two nights ago, I was up for a walk. Up for a walk. And I got attacked by a large dog. A large dog, eh? Uh, now, uh, and so what happened after you were attacked by well, the dog? After I got attacked, I was howling mad. Oh, and you looked up at the moon and just, oh, mad. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. And so, and so, uh, then what did you do? What, what happened then? Well, I started getting hungry. Real hungry. Real hungry. Uh, real hungry. What'd you eat? Well, there wasn't anything around. Okay. But okay. then I caught wind of a deer. You smell the deer. I smell the deer. Very strong, strong sense of smell. Strong, strong. Real strong sense of smell. Okay, okay. so uh, so how'd you get, did you get the deer? Yeah, I tracked it down about five miles. You tracked it for five miles? Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then I jumped on it. You pounced on it. Pounced on it. Okay. Uh, uh, and so, and then, and then, so when you pounced on it, did you then take it off somewhere and get it treated or processed, or what'd you do? How'd you eat it? I ate it right there. You know. You ate the you ate the deer right there. The whole deer. Yeah. The, the yeah. whole deer. Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. And and none of this seems unusual to you. No, just normal. Normal. Normal, normal stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, normal. Oh yeah, normal for a werewolf. I'm a werewolf. Obviously, you're a werewolf. You gotta help me. Well, I. You're a doctor, aren't you? You took the hippopotamus oath. You've got to help me. Uh, you're right. You know, you are right. Yeah. It is my duty as a scientist to experiment on you and get to the bottom of this. So, you know, we're going to perform a lot of experiments and see what's going on. Okay. All right, this way. I got some Wait, forms for you to go. Can we get this off me first? Let's get some forms first. Oh. Poor professor, when he made the last entry in the diary, he didn't know how horribly he would die. Well, his discovery of the uranium deposits didn't help him any, even if it does represent a tremendous fortune. We must keep it from the girls that Professor Green had a premonition of his fate. You see here, in the last paragraph, he says he thought something terrible was going to happen. He just felt the danger. I wonder where that peculiar hissing came from that he always heard. Oh, Gary, I'm terribly scared. I'm so afraid. Don't worry, Georgia. As long as I'm around, nothing will happen to you. I promise. Hi, Georgia. I'm hungry. I've made something for you to eat. Lucky there were some canned goods here. Mmm, food. It must have been a really gigantic spider to be able to spin such a huge web. Maybe there are more of them. <gasps> we found the professor's trunk full of stuff. They'll certainly be useful. One, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. If we divide the provisions up carefully, they should last for a month. 
What did you say, Georgia? A month? Do you really think we'll be here a whole month? I don't know. We have to go tomorrow to the highest cliff and light a smoke signal to try and attract a ship. 10, 11, 12. No, it belongs to me. After all, I found it. But my dress is in worse shape than yours. No, I want to have it. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give me. Give. Stop that fighting. Give me that shirt. <clears throat> Georgia? Thanks, Gary. I suppose we could have guessed that Georgia would be getting it. Haven't you ever noticed that Gary pampers us? What's this? Where did you get the pullover? I found it here, if you don't have anything against it. Huh. Now stop it, or I'll take care of both of you. Give me something to drink, Dorothy. Mm -hmm. Take it easy, Gary. We're all a little nervous. It's really no wonder. Uh, don't you think I'd rather be in a bar in Singapore with a nice cold drink than to be on this godforsaken place? <laughs> uh, drinking this horrible stuff? Bah. <laughs> Darn heat. Look out, will you? And stop making so much noise. If you don't like it, you can do the dishes. Or do you think I'm doing this for my own pleasure? Stop blowing your top and dry up, will you? I simply can't stand this frightful heat any longer. <laughs> How about throwing your dirty blouse someplace else? I want to sleep. I sure hope you don't lose your lipstick. You'd hardly be able to get along on this island without it. I'm through. It's about time. Now I'll shower. Give it here. Come on. Come on, girls. Let's go to sleep. I'm going to sleep outside. Night. Me too. Good night. Good night. Good night, night Kate. Professor's revolver. Get some sleep, Gary. I can't. I think I'll go out for a little walk. But don't worry. I'll be back very shortly. doing anymore.
just leave everything as it is. We must find Gary. Babs and Ann, you go in that direction. Where in the world is Kate? Here, Georgia. You two go in that direction. Kate and May will go along with me. Hurry up. What about me? You, you remain here and put things in order while we're gone. Huh. Hey, Gary! Would you quit that whistling? You're making me nervous. I'm not afraid when I whistle. <laughs> Did you hear anything? No. But there's something moving there. I don't hear anything. <laughs> Gary! Hey, Gladys! Don't leave me alone. Then hurry up. Gary! Gary! She's been strangled. The spider. <laughs> Anne. Anne. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, Georgia, the professor's been killed. Gary's disappeared, and now we've just buried Linda. Which one of us is going to be next? I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to Anne. die. Anne. Now stop it, will you? Stop it before you drive us all crazy. Not me, stop not it. me. And I tell you, they'll never find us, never. But I'm sure the police are moving heaven and hell to find us, honey. The police? The cops I know. If they catch you speeding a little bit or find you drunk, they send you right off to the cooler. But you just let somebody get lost and they won't lift a finger. Do you believe that they'll go running around for a few broads who are lost? But how are they to know <laughs> that we've been rescued and on this little island? Rescued? Who's been rescued? We, perhaps? Show me the island. Show me where does it lie in the ocean. Show it to me. By the time they find us, we'll all be dead. You, you and you, one after the other. Bad. Get a hold of yourself. You're only getting all the girls worked up. Well, if it isn't Miss Georgia, of all people, it has to be you. Who has Gary and Linda on her conscience? Who? 
Babs, do you know what you're saying? Exactly. Through your jealousy. You should never have left Linda alone in the cabin. Shut up, will you? What can Georgia do about Linda's death? Take your hands off me, or I'll break your arm. Just you try that, baby. Take that. Oh. Uh. Eight long days and nights. And nobody even knows we're here. And today a ship sails right by us. Our rescue so close. And May. Oh, Georgia, a ship. There, a ship. Oh, it's gone. How terrible. And we only have enough food left for three days. Start unloading. I'll take the oars up. Okay, Bob. What are you carrying the oars so far away for? Afraid the mermaid will steal our boat? Uh, don't talk to me about women on this godforsaken island. Should have taken one along as part of your ration. I wanted to, but it wasn't approved. Tough. Come on over here and give me a hand, will you? Okay, I'm coming. Take it easy. Easy now. Easy, that is. Boy, that junk is heavy. Oh. Bob, you know, I'm sort of glad the professor picked us out to help him with his work, even though it's lonely over here. Give me some whiskey. <clears throat> there aren't any chicks, then at least some whiskey. You only think about whiskey and women. <laughs> you better change or you'll never get any place. Get off my back. I'm sick of your preaching. Take the professor, for example. Uh, that guy's always been lucky. Well, we explore all sorts of islands for six months. He comes with us once and finds the stuff. And of all places on this miserable... Oh, careful now. 
Stop grumbling, will you? Uh, come on. I'll go and look for the professor now. Okay. Get on out of here, will you? In the meantime, I'll unload. And uh, have fun. Yeah, sure. But where is Gary? Please, Georgia, let's go. I'm so afraid. Perhaps there are more spiders around. Come and sit with me. What do you want from me? Well, I'll give you three guesses. I was going to ask you for the time. Professor's own revolver. And Gary's bracelet was laying there beside it. What's that noise? That's him. Get back. Quiet. Hands up. Hmm? Stop or I'll shoot. Hey. Hello, baby. Hands up. Hmm? Anything you wish. Get going into the cabin. What a coincidence. That's where I wanted to go. I said get going. Mm. All righty. I think he's handsome. He doesn't look so terrible. 
They're the really dangerous ones. Too bad. Okay, turn around. Mm -hmm. Where's Gladys? What did you do with her? Let me speak to him. Where is Gladys? Gladys? <laughs> no idea. I don't know the young lady, unfortunately. We just got here, down on the lagoon. You see, Georgia? Where we were swimming. And that's where Gladys disappeared. On the lagoon? Ah! <laughs> don't laugh. You'll be sorry about that. Oh, I don't know. Just look at what's coming down the path. <laughs> My friend Bob. We work together for Professor Green. Why, well, he's a big uranium research man. I met him before in the reeds. A researching researcher. Then you had better luck than I. I was nearly shot. Hi there. That is, if the revolver had been loaded. <laughs> <laughs> and you? You here on a summer vacation? Hmm. Fine summer vacation. If we hadn't found this island, we wouldn't be here to tell the story. We crashed on our way to Singapore. Ah, then you're the American dance troupe that got lost. Yes. Well, how do you know that? Well, all the newspapers in the world have carried your story. What? I'll bet Professor Green was surprised when all these girls showed up. Aha. Professor Green is dead. What's with the professor? Dead? What? He was hanging in a huge spider web. That's how we found him. Linda is dead, and Gary, our manager, has also disappeared. Spider web? Do you really believe that? By the way, our ship is coming back in two days. We must radio information right away so that they can send an agent to clear the matter up. You mean it? A ship's coming by? Our expedition ship. Then it will take us with it? Yeah, of course. We're oh, rescued. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my Look, isn't this pretty? The boys will be surprised when they see how we've dressed ourselves up in our island costumes. <laughs> <laughs> and they promised us real whiskey, kids. I can hardly wait. Hold this. Shall I put this in my hair? You look great, just like a real islander. <laughs> well, I am. Haven't I been here for four weeks? I can't believe that we'll be back in New York in a couple of days. When we tell them at home what has happened to us, nobody's going to believe us. Where, Georgia and Ann? Outside on the veranda. They're out there with Joe, trying to make radio contact with the expedition ship. I wonder if a lot of reporters will be on board when we get there. Hope so. Uh-huh. What's important for me is that Jimmy's there. Who is Jimmy? My friend. We're going to be married. What if he's got eyes for another? You don't believe that yourself. I'd scratch his eyes out. And he knows it. Kids, we made radio contact with the ship and we'll be picked up tomorrow. And tonight we'll dance and really raise the room. <laughs> kind of a girl is Anne? Usually quiet and one of the nicest. She's away from home for the first time. Her folks live in Minnesota. I've never seen her so relaxed. I'd like to dance with her. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
want to be all alone with you. How about the house? Not in the house. Some place where we'll be all alone. You know what? We'll meet at the lagoon. Okay. But so that no one will notice. Good. We'll meet in 15 minutes on the trail down to the water. All set? Of course. Mm. Uh, but be on time. I hate waiting. <laughs>
Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I think uh, think everything sounds good. Oh, you're back! You're back! Uh, now, uh, we've uh, spent the last few days running a few experiments on my friend here, and uh, I think we've really come up with a lot of good uh, information. Uh, for one thing, we have discovered that there are a series of isotopes and chemicals in the brain that bring on this state of wolf. Ism uh, that my friend uh, suffers from every full moon. Now, I uh, have been able to separate those isotopes and develop an elixir that will actually trigger that state of lycanthropy in our friend here. And this would actually make him a werewolf all the time. So not just on a full moon, even in the daylight, he would become a werewolf. <laughs> but uh, I have determined that that is the way to cure his state of lycanthropy. We must first bring on that state and then we can introduce this other elixir that I've made up. Now this uh, antidote was created using his human DNA. It is a small amount so I didn't want to take out too much of his blood. Uh, but uh, this small amount should do the trick. Uh, once he has become a, a werewolf uh, full time, we can then result, re, re, uh, bring him to a state of humanism using this antidote. Uh, put this right here. So, now, uh, first what we have to do is have you drink this little elixir right here, okay? And then, uh, and then our test subject I, I mean, a uh, patient, okay, patient will uh, become a werewolf. And we've got him all secure here, so it should be nice and safe for me. Uh, now, let's just take a little drink of this. And down the hatch. Good. Okay, okay. Now, uh, now I just, uh, he's going to transform, and I need my notes. So we have a mutagen, mutagen. Would you, uh, would you please come uh, watch our friend here while I get my notes? I'll be right back. Where did I put those? Let's see here. This isn't my notes. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, get out. Get out. Okay, now, let's see. So, he should start transforming very soon. And I just need to administer the antidote just as he becomes a werewolf. And, uh, is it what? supposed to be clear? <laughs> no, it's not supposed to be clear. It's red, just like your blood. It's just. Oh. Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, oh dear. Uh, we might have hit a small snag. Snag? Oh, you went into the snag! A little problem. Ah. Uh, oh, ah, uh, but wait, try to, try to get a hold of us out. Uh, right ah. in there, right in there, we got it. We're going to draw some more blood. And, oh dear. Uh, oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, just try to calm down. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, oh dear. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, 
Okay, okay, I, I think I finally got things under control. Uh, uh, so we had a little bit of a snag. Uh, he's gonna be a werewolf all the time now and I have no antidote. But I think as long as we he doesn't break out of the chains, everything should... Uh, let's get back to the ruby. <laughs> Chicks? Shut your mouth. Falling for her? quiet you know when you've lived on islands for a long time you forget how to say nice things to girls we'll try it once well i'm really glad that your airplane crashed but that's a nice thing to say i mean i mean otherwise i wouldn't have gotten to know you and and i'm glad about that oh you say that to everybody no i i don't know any girls when I think of the ones I do, I'd rather work. Well, I must say, you certainly are a master at paying compliments. Perhaps you're... Perhaps you're right. I should pay more attention to young women. Sometimes I envy Bob. He's so uninhibited and carefree. Bob, any girl is good enough for him. A real man is interested in only one girl. Then I'm a... But I'm a real man. How? Because I'm really interested only in one girl. Who's that? What does she look like? Cute? Elegant? Elegant? Mm, on the contrary. A little bit disheveled and neglected. But uh, very pretty. <laughs> Her name's Anne. Oh, Joe. That's one of the nicest things that's ever been said to me. Well, I meant it. I'm really fond of you. You know, when you leave for New York, here, so you won't forget me too quickly. But, Joe, please don't let me wait too long. <laughs> Come on, I got 12 minutes left. What's in 12 minutes? My next rendezvous. Um... Mm. Hello, big boy. Well, I'll be darned. That's not bad either. Hey, all right. You really don't know where to start here.
glad it... Oh, you're here. What's on your mind, huh? Nothing. In love? Mm-hmm. And you really think that Bobby's the right man for you? <laughs> I don't know. I only know one thing. I love him. Hmm, I hope he doesn't let you down. I'd be very sorry for you. Hello, Daddy-o. How about throwing those lamps on somebody else for a change? Yeah, baby. I'd like you swing, too. Come on, Gladys. It's not worth it. Don't bother me. Hey, Georgia, give me a drink, too. All right. Thanks. Bobby. Yeah? Do you have to turn all the girls' heads? Who, me? They turn mine. Hmm. Hi, Georgia. Hi. That dance sure made me thirsty. <laughs> Georgia, aren't you at all excited about going home soon? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's drink to that. Yes. Well, here's to the trip. Cheers. Cheers. Do you think people are still talking about us? Of course. Now all the more, since we found you. Will the papers print our story? Oh, baby. Will the papers print your story? The magazines will carry your pictures. And what do you think radio and TV will do with you? You'll be amazed at the reception you get back in New York. Maybe they'll drive us down Broadway with confetti and all. Hmm. In any case, you become a world-famous troupe. And hmm, who knows? Maybe you'll wind up in Hollywood. Oh, Bobby. I might make it yet. Thank goodness I still have a few minutes left. Because my next rendezvous is very important. And this time, who's the lucky one? If you won't tell anyone, Gladys. Bobby. Hmm? Gladys is a fine girl. Up until now, she's been shy of men. Please, leave her alone. Exactly. I've always yearned for a girl like this. Never found one. Why am I telling you all this anyway? Oh, Joe. I'm so happy. Well, that's what I expected. Same old story. You're nice to a man, and before you know it, he's getting fresh. <laughs> Anne, I must tell you something right away. Come on. Hey, Anne. Let her on. They're all good for nothing. They're all the same. Come on, let's have a drink. Gladys is just as I told you earlier. Oh, don't you see that Bob is just the kind of man who wants nothing else than to play around with women without a single serious thought in his head? You're right. I don't want to see him again. Gladys. Look, Bob. You can keep those remarks about Anne to yourself. Get it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me you're serious, fella. You haven't fallen for that little broad by any chance. Well, good luck, then. And what if I were? Then I'd feel sorry for you. What are dancers? Hot goods for cold nights. Or do you think your Anne is different? Hmm? For a guy like you, the worst girl in the world is too good.
I gotta run. I got a date. belong to your best friend would be safe with you around. Are you talking about Bobby? Who else? But you can keep him. I'm through with him. I've got news for you. Bobby just made it clear to me that you're the kind of girl that he's been looking for. Do you mean that, Babs? If it weren't true, do you think I'd leave him? Babs! Go to him. He's waiting for you. <gasps> that was a, a scream.
left lettuce, I'll go back and get the ammunition. Quick! I'll get it. I found Bob. Dead. Was he strangled? Where are the bullets? Oh. It's too late. He's here. Around. Two of you take that path over there. Right. Two go through the bushes. The rest of you come with me. Nobody should go alone. Always go in pairs. Come on.
Well, I'm glad to have you back. As you can see, things have really calmed down around here. I'm just going back through my administrative pay paperwork. I hope that you really enjoyed the movie. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, that was a quite a drama, but I'm glad that our drama has uh, subsided quite a bit. Uh, Mutagen has himself a new little friend now. <clears throat> this whole thing's left me a bit parched, actually. Mutagen, would you get me something to drink, please? Thank you. Uh, we just took our, our werewolf friend through a bit of obedience training, and I think that everyone's going to be a lot happier now. That's good. Now, uh, but I need a little bit of quiet while I study through my paperwork. Mutagen, Mutagen, would you take your friend, Mutagen, take your friend, go play with the ball. Go play with the ball. Go play with the ball. Good boy. Good. Boy. Good, boy. Good. Yes, in my laboratory, it's always nice to have a bit of peace and quiet while we go through our paperwork. And, uh... Mutagen? Mutagen! Mutagen, you... You gave me the elixir! The werewolf elixir, Mutagen, you moron! Well, I guess things are just going to get back to normal now. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll tune in uh, to our show uh, again some uh, other time when I may or may not be a werewolf, you moron! <laughs> <laughs> You know, 
Dewey. Like, not much offends me, but I find that offensive. Whatever. Coming after you, Mutagenation! Roar! 